Hey, this is Summer Howard, your personal divorce coach and founder of BridgeToBliss.com. I'm here today to talk about a frequently asked question. Will I recover from this? Will I recover from this divorce, this tragic loss, this loss of a dream, the um, shift in my family dynamics? Will I recover? And good news for you, and the answer is yes, and here's why. Because you are not your circumstances. I want this to really sink in. There's you, the you that's watching this right now. And then there are your circumstances, which are divorce, maybe bankruptcy because of divorce, moving out of a house. Those are your circumstances. But that is not you. And that's how I know that yes, you will recover from this divorce and separation. And I think that you'll come out better on the other side. So what if this answer for you is just a little too woo-woo? You go, hey, 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 I think I know what you're saying, but how does that really, how do I put that into play in everyday life? Well, let me share with you five tips on how you can actually start implementing this idea that you know that you're whole, that you know that you're going to recover because the you that you are is not changed by circumstances. The first tip is to use affirmations. Oh shit, (laughs) okay. I'm not the best at affirmations, but I can, let me tell you what I do here. For me, I use affirmations kind of like a mantra when I have about five minutes of my quiet time. This is your affirmation. I am whole and perfect as I was created. I am whole and perfect as I was created. Now the the great Wayne Dyer taught that to me and I have to say he's a pretty wise man. So tip number one is to put that into play for you. I don't care if you do it five minutes in your quiet time or every time you look into those bright, beautiful eyes of yours in the mirror in the morning on your aging face or your glowing face or whatever face you're looking into, look into your eyes and say to yourself, I am whole and perfect as I was created. Tip number two. This is kind of tongue in cheek, but go play with yourself. And I mean it. See what's on the other side. Stretch yourself in a way where you start to know that your possibilities are endless. Are you gonna be perfect at it right off the bat? No, you're not. But the point of this is to know that you are more than just what you've been doing. More than just the things that you've been successful at recently. There's a lot of potential there in you. So go play with yourself. The third thing is to get still. And yes, this is the point where I say, do a little meditation, go within. You can cut it lots of different ways, but even if it's five minutes, taking five minutes in the shower to really get present and go within, get still, it's going to make a big difference in the way that you can connect to the thought and to the knowing that you are whole, you are unchanged, that you, that thing that you are, deserves to recover and will recover. The fourth tip that I have for you is to volunteer. Now, I've heard it all, okay? I have seven children, I don't have time. I have a job that I work, you know, 80 hours plus a week and I don't have time. But I'm telling you the quickest way, yes, I'm telling you this, (laughs) the quickest way to get out of your miserable pit is to go help someone else out. And if the results that you want is to get out of your miserable pit, then go help someone else out. And I'm not talking about your daughter or your son or other people that you help out frequently, talking about helping out strangers or helping out with nothing in return. That's another way that you're going to prove to yourself that you have potential to recover. It's gonna make you feel good, I promise you. Even if it's one hour a week, do it. And the fifth one is more like a philosophy that will help you and inspire you on your road to recovery. I'm gonna read it because I just got it in the mail. This is from my friend, Victoria Prozan. Success is simply about how you show up in this world. 
So if the result that you want is success in moving on, success in finding love, success in loving yourself again, then make sure you're showing up in this world. Really show up in the world. And no matter how big or how small, it all matters. So do it today. All right, we've covered the answer to the question, will I ever recover from this? The answer is yes, sweetheart, you will. And I gave you five tips to implement on your road to recovery so that you will have that inner knowing that you are unchanged, that you have a ton to contribute, and that this circumstance of divorce, separation, grief, depression is your circumstance, and it is not who you are. I am so glad you joined me today, and I can't wait to see you next week. But until then, uh, please live in truth. Have the courage to speak your truth. And if you love this video, do me a favor. Click like below or subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be pumping these babies out every week for you. I hope you show up too. Take care. In truth and in courage, this is Summer Howard, your personal divorce coach.